Hello everybody. Look the beautiful morning today. Yesterday we went on a deep zone area. I'm not a fishing yesterday because I'm I'm a captain. But today we are going to do a inshore jigging with a new jig pro fishing rods. Like uh, the name is Chore Pro and the other is the finesse. So we can test today uh, on the inshore. So Let's see what happened. We are staying in Rincon, but we are going to fishing on Mayagüez. It's a different town, um, a different boat ramp. So here on Mayagüez, if you go more southwest, the inshore fishing is better. So we are going to try th this area and looking something different because on vertical jigging, you have different species, but inshore jigging, you have so many species and sometimes it's more easy to catch those species because, you know, Inshore fishing is super fun. So here in Puerto Rico, you can try inshore fishing on a kayak, on a boat. Sometimes it's really good from the shore, but Puerto Rico is a paradise, paradise because um, when you go in a, on a kayak, a fishing kayak, the drop is very close to the shore. Sometimes it's one mile sometimes it's less but always you can find a good spot on the inshore so let's see what happened today i know today it was really good but we're going <laughs> How are you guys? We are here on the spot. Just only 14 feet deep, but it's completely reef. So I start to use a crappy yeast, half ounce. I have a liter 30 pounds and my braid line is 20 pounds. Uh, I use 20 because sometimes here you can find mutton snappers, big mutons, big yellow tails. And you know, mutton snapper, the fight is really good, really strong. So you need a good leader and a good and good braid. So I use this combined because sometimes when I go a little more deeper, so the 20 pound line for me is better because it's not too much drag on the water. So let's try it on this area. Let's try it, my, my first cast. Let's see, I move the crappy jig like this. I use right now the finesse rod light. So the action is completely uh, loose because the crappy jig is not, have no too many weight. Um, so just do like a couple seconds but never touch the bottom and then start like move like this. Move like this a couple times. That's my technique because that technique is perfect for strike every fish. The, the fish strike because it's so easy for the fish, if you move faster, sometimes the mackerel zero is so aggressive and cut the line. So I always do this like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Depend is because here it's really shallow, so. 
When it's shallow, you don't need to keep keep the the, the crappy jig on the on the on the top of the water. So you don't need to touch the bottom because it's so rocky here. And and if you take down the the crappy, touch the bottom, you lost it. Reef looks closer, but it's because it's clear water, clear water. And uh, here we can find so many species. Behind, behind, yeah, I saw, yeah, 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 big one. Follow the crappy. Oh my God. It's a uh, yellow jack. Oh, yellow jack. Yellow jack, yellow jack. Yeah. yeah. Big yellow jack. All right, all right, yes. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Yeah, still fighting good. I think it's a jack because I saw a couple jacks behind the crappy jigs. And uh, oh yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, oh yeah. The first bar jack on the morning with the crappy jigs. Woo! Yeah, I saw a couple big ones and I saw a yellow jack first. Two, like two or three times consecutive behind the crappy jigs. But the, in this case, I call it like bar jack, good size, good size for eat. So this size, I keep it because that's my dinner for today. So check it out. Sorry. Beautiful fish. You see the line? Sometimes the people uh, say blue runner, but blue runner is completely different. You know, that's a bar jack. In Puerto Rico say cojinua, cojinua. All right, take it. Use a uh, crappy jig, why? half ounce this is a uh, hook too strong for me crappy jig is a perfect perfect jig from for casting on this area it's a smaller one and it's easy for the fish you know grab the the, the jig so in the other spot we use we try we try to use a uh, deep 25 grams only with one hook, so, but it's in the other spot though. So let me see what happened here on the first spot. Bites on this area. Looks great. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. I got it. Yeah. I think it's grouper. Little grouper? Yeah, Connie grouper. Oh yeah, that's a grouper. Strawberry grouper is. Yeah. Not strawberry is a different, a different looks like, but you see crappy jigs, smaller grouper. That grouper, the the size is 14 inches, no more, just a smaller uh, grouper. So this size you can keep it for eating, but. For me today, so I release the fish because I don't need that one. I need big size. <laughs> All right. right now we, we are moving to the same spot because the wind drifting the boat and, and we are going out of the reef. So right now, we are here on the spot. First, first cast 
It's a bar jack, second cast is sus. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, I got it, I got it. Another, yeah. Nice. Another, whoop. Oh yeah, looks all, I think it's jack or jail tail, but yeah. Oh, this, uh, yeah, a jack. All right, all right. <laughs> Three different species in one spot with crappy jig. That's awesome. Because crappy jig is so important. Versatile. Versatile. Check it out. Crappy jig, perfect strike, perfect hook. So, but this, uh, this jack, I don't keep it, so I release back. But crappy jig is amazing for the inshore fishing, so. We're looking at a new spot because other spot is really good, but you know, you remember I say I like hunting, so we're moving to hunting different species. Oh yeah, 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 oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look, attack, oh, close to the, all right. Oh my God. I see the fish follow the crappy ye, and I move so fast, and check it out. Another bar jack, but look, look, look. Fish love crappy. All right, all right. Fish love crappy. You see the hook, perfect hook, perfect timing. So it's smaller bar jack, but so I released the bar jack right now. So here right now the, the wind. Oh, all right. Oh, another. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right. Oh, jello tail. Oh, no way, yeah. Yellow tail snapper, I lost my first yellow tail. Oh, another. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right. Oh, yellow tail. Oh, no way, yeah. Yellow tail snapper, I lost my first yellow tail four different species with crappy. I lost a jello tail, but it's part of the fishing. But strawberry grouper is, oh yeah, we got it. We got it, yeah, we got it. We got it, oh yeah. Right on the bottom. Oh, lizard fish. Oh, another species, lizard fish. You see the crappie? Hook perfectly on the mouth. We use that that uh, fish for bait for tarpon yeah. on the shore. So I keep that for use it for bait. So Yeah, that's good bait for tarpon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right, all right, all right. Woo! All right. Oh, good bait, good bait for tarpons. That's a blue runner. New species. New species today. Blue runner for crappy. Amazing. All right, guys, we are finished today. For today, um, if you see, crappy jigs is very versatile. And uh, we call like seven different species. It's normal here in Puerto Rico. And uh, if you like go fi um, to fishing on the inshore, you can find so many species. And 
I recommend use Crappy D or Deep 25 on the inshore and from the shore too because here on my back you can find uh, tarpon, snook, jacks, uh, sometimes mutton snapper. So, so crappy jigs and deep jig and deep jigs is really versatile. So now today we have so much fun and enjoy the video and remember subscribe here on Instagram a pescar por mi isla in Facebook Vito Punto Mares. So that's what I'm that's what I do fishing for my Iceland. I love my Iceland and I love fishing. So enjoy the video. Think deeper.